guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a exciting day. I am finally getting to show you guys my product with Utan, which I'm so excited about. It's at the start of the video, so you'll see them really, really soon. But I'm also gonna show you how I do this entire look. Obviously, we're very bronzed, we're very glowing, we're very glam. We're like a glam Barbie with these nails and this tan and this makeup. I'm just really excited. I absolutely love the way that this look turned out. If you have already picked up my products, thank you so much. I've seen it so much lovely feedback already. So yeah, I'm just really excited to show you guys. I know that you guys always ask me to do meet and greets. There will be a meet and greet with you tan very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, other than that, if you'd like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. Okay, so I am very excited about this makeup tutorial for more than one reason. Obviously, I'm excited to put a lot of makeup on, but I am finally getting to show you guys my little babies. So I'm going to talk about the CBD tanning water first. If you guys didn't know, I have brought these two products out in collaboration with Utan. Utan and me go way back. I absolutely love the Turbo Tan. I love the coconut tan and water as well. There's just loads of reasons that this collaboration suited me so well. So the first product I've got to show you is my U-Tan in collaboration with Jamie Genevieve, the CBD tanning water. So this is a gradual tanning face mist. I like to actually use it at night time for a couple of reasons, but I'll show you it today. So all I do is literally, I usually cover my hair. The reason I like using it at night time is because it smells so good. It's got Scottish lavender in it, which is a really calming essential oil. Essential oils can be quite strong, so just make sure that you do a little patch test if you get this. But the lavender and the CBD, which is organically grown in Colorado, both of those ingredients together are so calming and zen. So before bed, it's perfect. So usually what I would do is my entire skincare routine and then spray it on. It develops over four to six hours, which is perfect for night time so usually I wake up and my face is tan so I don't know if you guys are like me but I use so much skincare and masks and exfoliants and stuff like that that the tan on my face never lasts but I think having a tan on my face I literally cut about with no makeup on all the time and because I've got a little bit of a glow from this little guy I just feel so comfy with it so that's how you use that I absolutely love it I love the coconut tan water as well but obviously this is my favorite so the next product we're going to use is the Jamie Genevieve You Tan Skin Idol. You guys know that I like a tan, right? You often turn it into a drinking game on my channel. Whenever I mention that I'm tanned, you take a shot, but don't do it for this one because I will mention it quite a lot. This is the Skin Idol. It's a face and body bronzer and it's got liquid illuminator blended through the product. I'll show you guys in a second, but see once it's all settled down and it's set on the body, it makes your skin look like butter. Like when I was doing the photo shoot for this, the flash photography, when I looked at my legs, I was like, oh my God, I look like a Barbie. My legs literally look like a Barbie. I am so smooth and so glowing and so tanned. It's the dream. This guy took 57 different formulas to make it perfect. So we literally made 57 different types of this product. We finally finished, we finally found the one. So there's eight different pigments in here. I am middle of the road, I'm not super fair. I am usually a medium in foundation shades. So this little guy for me, it does make me look more tanned, but it also makes me look super smooth. I'm gonna just show a little video here, you tan have sent over, that shows the difference on someone that's a lot fairer than me, the difference in the color and the texture of the product and stuff like that, so I'll just play this here. And we're going to put this on. So the best way that I feel it goes on, you can use it with your hands if you want. See if you want it to be nice and a, a nice strong colour. It's perfect. But I actually like to build it up with a little mitt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on one arm. I'm going to use a little bit at a time. Okay, you can see the glow in it already. I'm going to put it on. So you can see the colour. And we're just going to buff that in with the mitt. And when you use it, you might notice that it goes lighter first. That is just the waterproofing agents and the highlighter before it settles down onto your skin. So don't worry about that. Okay, we're gonna go underneath here. And I like to bring it up my neck. You see the shine. Oh my God. The formula of this product is really good for covering up thread veins and bruises, which is really good for me because I'm very clumsy. And it's such an easy formula to work with as well. The kind of reason that this product was so important to me is because I obviously go to like loads of events, last minute trips, and I don't have time to be doing my full tanning routine. So this is your quick fix. It literally just makes you look so sun-kissed 
and glowy and it's just such a perfecting formula. Oh man. Because the formula is slightly tacky just for the first few minutes, I like to go in with a little bit of highlighter. This is just the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in shade number two. And get a little bit of that and it will just, oh. <laughs> it just sticks to the formula so you can really get your glow and it doesn't fade. And for my chest, I literally just put it on <laughs> my, my boobs <laughs> and in between them. So it looks like this. Don't forget your shoulder. Beautiful. As the product oxidizes, it goes a little tiny bit darker. On deeper skin tones, it just smooths out the skin and gives a really, really nice glow. It is a kind of instant tan, so it does wash off. But if you want to set it, a little bit of setting spray. And that will dry down and everything will just be set into place. Now we've done our bod. I'm going to move on to my makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face. I've got the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer here. And I'm just taking a wee pump of that all over my face. If you're going on holiday or something like that, and you're really wanting your face to be super tanned, that's when you would use your CBD tanning water day and night. I do what I've just done today. I spray it on my face, then do my makeup on top, and your tan just kind of cooks away underneath. So although we have been using the CBD tanning water, and we've just tanned up the body, my face is quite matching, but I do want to darken up my foundation just a little bit. So I'm going to take my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Barcelona. Three little pumps of that. And I'm going to take a tiny amount of the Skin Idol. Just like so, you can see it is quite a few steps darker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them together in the back of my hand with a brush. And that just makes the foundation a step glowier and a wee step darker as well. Another way that I love using Skin Idol on my face is by taking a tiny amount of it, mixing it with my primer or my moisturiser and just rubbing it in and it makes your skin look unbelievable. So tanned and glowy. And then I'm just going to blend that in. And the makeup look we're going to do today is super bronzy glam, but it's really quick, which I love. I actually did something really similar when I was in Paris recently, and I loved it. Woohoo! Bringing that down my neck a little bit. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger underneath my eyes to brighten them up. But again, I actually don't go too light under my eyes these days. And I'm just going to use my foundation brush to blend that in. I don't know if it's because NARS make both of these products, but they work so well together. So you can see my foundation just matches my body really nicely. It's got a wee touch more of a glow because of the liquid illuminator. I'm going to take a little bit of the Skin Idol by itself. And I'm just going to blend that into my cheeks as a kind of liquid bronzer slash illuminator and it just gives a really soft glow to the skin and it just looks so good. I just love the formula of this. A little bit of powder under my eyes. This is the Pure Balancing Act Mattifying Shine Control Powder. I just use a little bit under my eyes to set my concealer and I just like to use it in the centre of my face just to make sure that's not going to move and I just like the shine to be on, on the outside of my face rather than the centre. For bronzer, we're going to go in with another pure product. This is the Pure Mineral Glow Illuminating Bronzer and it's nice and deep but what we're going to do is we're going to take it on a bigger brush. We're going to take it on this brush. This is a Ray Morris brush, 22 it's called. And I'm going to bronze but I'm not going to like chisel my face like I usually do. I'm just going to use nice light movements just to get quite a natural looking bronze all over the face. A little bit on the forehead as usual. I'm going to add a little bit of blusher. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick Lip to Cheek Dewy Colour Pop. But we're going to use this on our cheeks. This is the shade Moon Beach. I've been really liking my stick and liquid products lately. So I'm just going to smile and just apply that right to the apples of the cheeks. And then give it a little blend. Whoa, that's very dewy. I actually think that, that would have gone better on fresh skin, you know. No, it's nice, it's nice. I'm going to go back in with the Makeup Forever highlighter. Just to remind you, it's the Pro Light Fusion 
Luminizer in shade number two. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and we're gonna highlight our face. Wow, this highlighter is so lovely. I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm just gonna tin man my nose. And my cupid's bow. Now I'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna do our eye balls. So there's a close up of the skin. I just think it looks so good. <laughs> not being biased at all. And I've got a really fun new technique. It's not new, but I just find this so easy. We're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick. This is in the shade Coco. And what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna go straight in and we're gonna color all over the eye. And we're gonna go up just past the crease, okay? So it's like that. Looks a bit crazy at the moment. And then I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna start fluffing out the edges. These pencils dry down and once they've dried down, they are so great, they just do not move. So it's so good for a really nice, quick and easy smoky eye. And it's got a tiny bit of shimmer to it, so it looks a wee bit kind of grungy, which I like. And if you need to, you've got your foundation brush, you can just use that as a rubber. You see that, just nice. Blended, it's kind of effortless. It looks it looks super almost like a greasy eye. It's also so quick. It's a really good look to have in your bank. And then using my little brush just to drag the product to make more of a kind of winged shadow look. I'm gonna take another eyeshadow brush just to really buff the edges. And it does look a tiny not patchy, but because of the shimmer, it just looks a little bit imperfect, and I actually quite like that. I'm gonna take the same stick. And I'm just going to draw a little line, not too big, just under my eye. They are so creamy as well. I'm quite obsessed with these actually. I think they're quite scary to use at the first maybe. When you're first going into them it's a little bit like, Ooh. And I'm going to blend that out with the first brush I used. And this is what gets our nice under eye smoke. And I think I like it as well because it's not super warm toned. It's kind of more, uh, yeah, cocoa. It's more of a cocoa colour. Now that looks gorgeous by itself, but the thing that makes it so special for me is when I add in the Naked Reloaded palette. This is the first time I've used this on my channel. This palette is so gorgeous. It is a revamp of the original Naked palette, but I actually think that this is 10 times better. You've got your warm browns, you've got your kind of more pinky corallies, you've got really nice shimmers in there. I just flipping love it. So we're gonna use this, and I'm gonna go in with the same brush, and I'm gonna go in with Bucked which is this one right here. And I'm gonna use that just to make sure the blend is great. And I've actually used these two products together before and it just looks so nice. And I also kind of use it to blow out the blend a little bit more as well, underneath the eye. A little bit of powder just to set everything. And then on the lid, I'm gonna use the shade Dream Weaver, which actually looks like it's borderline kind of silvery, but with this brown, oh my God, it looks so good. So I'm gonna go straight in with a little flat brush And I'm just going to pack that colour all over the lid. I'm just tilting my head forward a little bit because I'm getting a little bit of fallout. Oh, it looks super metallic. And then back in with my fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Endgame, which is the darkest colour in the palette. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that and we're just going to stamp it on the outer corner. And give it a little blend. Yep, happy with that. I'm now going to go in with the shade Boundaries, which is the kind of warmer colour just here. And I'm going to just use that in the kind of outer edges, just because the warmth just makes the blend look a little bit more seamless. But I just love how grungy this looks. I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Blacker Gel Crayon. This is such a great black gel liner and a kind of pencil. And I'm just going to go in my waterline just to make sure everything's looking nice and dark. And then what you can do is you can kind of smudge it on the outer corner into a little kind of smoke just in the very outer corner. It just helps the look look a wee bit more pulled together. And then I'm actually going to go in with a little smudger brush in the dark brown and I'm going to go over that black on top and just really get that blended in. Now for mascara and lashes, I'm just going to use the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and then I'm going to stick on some Lily Lashes in the style... What style is this? Monaco. <laughs> oh 
I want big, chunky bottom lashes. While we're here, I'm just going to take Angel Fire from the Naked Reloaded palette. And I'm just going to use that as my inner corner highlight. And I'm just going to put a little touch of that on the very top of the brow bone. While we're waiting for our lashes to dry, I'm going to do my brows really quickly. I'm going to use precisely my brow pencil because I want a nice, fluffy, natural brow today. I don't want anything too harsh. So I'm just going to chuck this on, really. It's so easy. A couple of strokes just to give them a little bit more definition. I'm using the colour 3 so it's nice and light. Just like so. And then I'm going to put a little bit of my Gimme Brow in the shade number 5 through them. All I want is like a nice natural brow with this look. I think that the eyes are so blown out. And with all the shimmer and stuff, they just look quite messy. I like it. So I don't want anything too severe on my brows. Oh, nice. They're not too dramatic either. Oh, they went on very easily for me today. How lovely. Now, when I've got you nice and close, we'll do our little freckle. I'm open to suggestions, guys, because I use two products for my freckle, which is a product too much. I use my little tar eyeliner, which has been bubbling away forever. I need to put this in the bin. But I like how dark it is, so I do that. Draw my little dark one. I think I need to put this in the bin. I think it's done. Then I go in with a little kind of pen from MAC and just kind of dot it in because it's so pale it just blends it in. Let's zoom you out and we'll do our lips. So this is how the look is looking. What I want to do is I want to do a nude lip. Okay, just let me live. I'm going to use my Becca Fearless Lip Liner. This is such a beautiful colour. Really nice colour. So I'm going to line my lips with this. Just like so. It's nice and light so it doesn't look too kind of stuck on. This is the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Interview, which I think looks like a nice kind of deeper nude. So let's try this. Nice. Not as light as I usually wear, and it's a bit more pink. Nice finish, but I'm going to ruin that finish because I want gloss today. This is the Iconic London Lip Gloss, the kind of plumping one in the shade Nearly Nude. Now all I need to do is set my face. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and drench my face. I'm going to dry that off. Oh my god, I look so glam. This is great. And then obviously I need to put my hoops in. I literally just do not feel like myself without my hoops in. I do not know what I'm going to do on my wedding day. I feel like, will I be a gold hooped bride? Maybe. And then after I do my setting spray, I always use a little bit of powder just in the areas that I know that I need it. Funny, that colour of lipstick, I don't think I would like it if I was paler, but because I've got a wee bit of a tan, I actually don't mind it. That is the finished look, you guys. I hope you really liked it. I just think that this look is so perfect for like a bronze glam look, don't you think? I am so thrilled with my products and I'm so glad you guys have already been getting yours and I've seen so much feedback and you guys are loving it, so it makes me really, really happy. Other than that, I'll link everything that I've used down below. You can grab my products with U10 in Superdrug. You can also get it on the U10 website, but there will be more retailers coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. Watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Guys, you just totally missed it. I just fought with my camera. Big time. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. Where is it? I've lost it. No. Oh. We're gonna go in with the lot. Oh, by the way, can I take a moment for my nails? I know, right? Because we're so tanned. Please don't make this a drinking game. The bronze glow. I've got bronzer in my hairline. Oh well. We're gonna go in with the lorry. <laughs> and I'm so happy to finally show you guys. I've seen that so many of you. I've got a dog here.